Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Home at Last Part 1, if you look at that video, that was a kind of a status report on where we are with the room response in our multiple channel room, which, you know, is a large room. Uh, 40, 45, 55, 65, we got lots of uh, distance on both side walls. 15 foot ceilings, 25 foot depth, so it's a large room you know, 8.4 channel system. You can watch the video on the, the system itself. It's in the project page, but been working on it for a couple of years and, you know, it's a process. Room tuning is a process. You fix something else, another issue pops up, especially with low frequency issues. You put some treatment in this location, you get a little bit different change in another location. So, it's kind of this push-pull battle all the time. It's chasing, you know, a lot of issues constantly. And you have to be committed and you have to be dedicated to do it. So we kind of still had that 30 to 80 cycle bump and that 20, 250 to 1K issue a uh, little bit too much. Uh, I started thinking about it and I thought, you know, let's do a follow-up video. Let's go after that to show people, you know, what can happen and what processes are involved in getting that so you can get a little feel for it so we set a goal got to have a strategy take 5 db out of the low frequency bump and we're going to try to take 3 db out of the mid bump that's our goal the source we use is the song two step from dave matthews band in central park you can uh, go on youtube and find it it's very easy a lot of energy so represents full range energy constantly i mean drums and and guitar and keyboard everything is is represented there bass so we decided on 30 square feet of our 12 and 10 technology and 20 square feet of our 12 and technology we put the 30 on the front wall and the 20 on behind the couch now we know these are problematic areas because we've been chasing this for a couple of years so we knew there were some areas that needed you know treatment so this is the approach we did we didn't know exactly what to do here in terms of square footage but we picked a number and we worked with it and we went from that point so that's what you have to do look at our new curve okay that new curve is the direct result of what we call critical mass meaning you have to get so much treatment on every surface area so that all the surface areas are comfortably treated, so to speak, and they all react accordingly and in the same manner in terms of pressure and reflections. That's the goal. Remember, the best room is no room. Well, not feasible. So we have to work with what we've got. So you can see in this new curve, smooth, no spatial irregularities. You gotta cover large amounts of surface area especially with low frequency management. Our ACDA series and our carbon panel units are five foot high, 60 inches for a reason, because most of them go in eight foot ceilings. So if you got an eight foot ceiling height and you got a five foot product height, you're at that 50% plus coverage. Remember, it's always tap, type, amount, and position. So this is the surface area treatment coverages that we've come up with that really work well in terms of audible impact. That's the key. I'm going to spend five or ten thousand dollars on treatment and not hear a difference. With our products, five or ten thousand, you hear a large difference. You hear such a big improvement that you want more and that's the goal. I always tell people, start with a small amount of units. I'll help you distribute them so you get the best bang for your dollar and then work up from there. 35, 40% of our customers that buy once buy again. There's a reason for that. They now have a reference in their room. They now have something to go by. They now have a measured improvement and, and they want more. Another thing about acoustics, as you start treating surface areas, the untreated surface areas become more pronounced. You start to hear them more. We, we fight this in large rooms with small budgets. 
They can't treat the four walls, which is what they really need to treat, so they pick up two. And they do two. It's not 30, 60 days later we'll get another call. Well, the two walls are great, but the other two are a lot louder. So this is the problem in acoustics. You got to get to that critical mass, you know, we're always talking about. Rate and level is critical. Anybody can build a box, go down to 40 hertz. The goal is to get a lot of energy absorbed per square foot at that frequency, and that's where most products fail. Any base absorber that's sold in the marketplace that you can pick up and carry on your own is not going to have much rate. You'll get a level. You'll get down to 40 hertz. They'll advertise, well, it goes down to 40 hertz. But what you've got to look at, how much at 40 hertz does it get? If it gets 5%, where are you at? Ours gets 63. So that'll give you a comparison to work from. So with this new curve, you can see we are definitely now, <laughs> I hope, home at last. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.